Hey everybody, so welcome uh, to Game Busters. We're doing a special episode today. This is uh, our uh, Good Games Inc., a uh, spiritual successor to the old podcast Cool Games Inc. that got cancelled because of cancellations. And uh, what we're going to do today, we've uh, I've spent a week uh, just bugging everybody I know on the internet uh, for uh, game suggestions. So what we're going to do today is take your suggestions that you've sent in to us and uh, we're going to collect them all here and go through the best ones. And we're going to try to figure out which is like, which one's the good, which one would be a good game, which is, what's the dank nug here. Um, and we have a special guest today who is my brother, Nikhil. He's going to come in about halfway through once we figure out which of these games we're going to do. And we're going to pitch it to him as the publisher. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm, by the way, I'm, I'm near of us as always. And my co-host Re is here. Um, Yo, sorry, my I, lovely co-host Ree. I'm yes, so sorry. I got I got Jesus. less lovely in the ten minutes we did from the break of recording the last episode. Yeah, this has been uh we're banking a double right now, so we're a little bit burned. <laughs> but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this. Um, we're, we're gonna power right, through so this. We're gonna power through this. Um, we've got a big list here. I think we ended up receiving. Let's see, yeah, seventy submissions total. Uh, so good job, everybody. Um, if you, if you have any ideas ever, like, I think we're going to start trying to do this around holidays. So maybe our next one will be around Valentine's day sometime, but if you have an idea, you know, shoot it to us at game busters pod. We'll put it on the list for the next one or, uh, you know, shoot it to us over discord, Twitter, or whatever. Um, okay. So let's, uh, so what I want to do first is, um, you, we already made one game. If you remember our wet, hot yoga class. I think I is what really it was called or something. No, it was relaxing namast re- relaxing namaste. I'm sorry, it was the name of the product <laughs> that we shipped <laughs> for Android and iOS. Um, so, Re, as as our uh, chief financial officer over here Ooh. at Good Games Inc., why don't you tell us how that game did monetarily for us and you know financially? Um, well, incredibly well because we stuffed it full of microtransactions, um, which were very essential to actually getting a relaxing namaste. Because if you remember the content of the wet yoga class, um, there was neither relaxation or namaste uh, in that game. There no, was there was um, screaming. Um, there were I, I think pine cones were involved in the mix somehow. Um, yeah, I believe there were. I, I think you now I've heard that um, we had a lot of success with adding like more microtransactions later for like alternative skins for the great horned owl. Yes, that w- that went down quite well because once we once we found our like niche, um, the people yeah. were, were willing to fork over a lot of money. Um, yeah, um, I don't think Though, any players have reported having a relaxing number stay yet, but you know, no, um, and that, I mean, it's, and mission accomplished. Don't get me wrong. But the thing is, we've got a roadmap, um, and there will be one relaxing number stay by um twenty twenty two. We can promise that. The worst thing about the worst thing about this whole situation is that we actually had a more successful launch than Cyberpunk. Still. <laughs> Oh, we, we dunked it on the Cyberpunk in both episodes now. Glorious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Great. It's good. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really... Gl- uh, thank you for securing that partnership with Nintendo, by the way. Getting that, that uh, skin from the uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time for that owl that does the tutorials. That was a big hit. Yeah, I've got to um, say, um, didn't think we were going to get that, but I guess with, you know, Sephiroth being in Smash, yeah. they're sort of... Be- they're, right. they're taking yeah, some I mean, risks. <laughs> they're getting a little bit looser with those licenses over there. Um... <laughs> Okay, so let's let's just throw some let's let's actually just slide right into it since um the we hit, we were just talking about it. Uh, we have a submission here from Axel, Cyberpunked, a game where you craft elaborate computer pranks to piss people off. Well, CD Projekt Red already made that. Next, I was literally about to say that is just <laughs> the launch of Cyberpunk on PS4. Uh, you have a you have a submission for us. Yes. Um, okay. So the first one that grabbed my eye is from Yuri P, and that is Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, but with no bugs. Um, I can't say I can imagine that, but I imagine there is a very big market for it right now, so that could make us a lot of money. That um, could. Do you think that? It, <laughs> what if we? What if we get a team of experts out there? Because you know, you know, there's there's fucking modders out there that do like a better job with Bethesda games than Bethesda does, like. If we can get them on the on on the grind, and like, do you think we can pump out a whole other Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven that works before February when theirs is supposed to? Yes, I mean, so obviously, what we've learned from Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven is that uh, clearly CD Projekt Red didn't do enough crunch. So if we just do even more crunch, then I feel like we could actually get something working. So they're I'm- gonna call me Captain Crunch by the end of this project. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about that. Okay, um, that one's not bad. I want to throw this one out here from um, Baumeister32. Uh, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3.1415926... Uh, dot, dot, dot. Um, sort of a near automata vibe there, or near, near replicant rather, you know, version 1.23, whatever the fuck, but also the number pi. Um, yes. Okay. Kingdom, King, Kingdom, Kingdom Hearts is, has had a problem with numbering their games, um, historically. Definitely an understatement. Uh, I think 538 over two is one of them, or am I thinking yeah. of the number of electoral votes in the electoral college? <laughs> um... um I think one of my favourite titles is Kingdom Hearts 2.8 A Fragmentary Passage Is that that one or am I getting a mix up for another one it's one Is that the 8. HD remix Yeah it's like yeah, it's like Kingdom Hearts 2.8 A Fragmentary Passage Final Mix I don't know I, I'm not even going to pretend to understand that fi- fi- final, final, final Fragment Final um, chapter prologue. Right, yeah. Final chapter prologue is one Final chapter pro. Oh my god. I don't want anything to do with Kingdom Hearts. What's What else you got? Okay. Um, I have got Mediocre Theft Auto. Oh, I'm feeling confident about this one. Mediocre. So, that this could be a genre-defining game. Oh, shit, I'll just say who that's from. Because uh, someone needs it. Yeah, okay, that's, that is from Tim. So shout out to Tim for mediocre theft auto. So uh, what's hot right now is games that subvert your expectations. You had Undertale, mm-hmm. um, where if you were just going through the game killing stuff, it turned out, hey, you were the bad guy because you were just killing people for no reason. Um, right. pe- people like that. So I feel like if we have a game where you're set up as this gangster um, that you're, you know, the streets are yours to take and you're going to become known and then there's no actual way to do that and every time you try and break into a vehicle it's actually way harder because you don't have the keys so you've got to like do the, I don't know, do the wire thing but you don't know how to do that um, and then the police find you because obviously the car alarm's going off um, you know, just something could, more, oh. re- more realistic, okay. you know Right. This could be a good. This could be a great way to use the dual sense controller. You know, like it has the the haptic triggers, right? Like they they have like resistance to them. You you get to a car in Mediocre Theft Auto, and it's like press R two to to like hijack the car, and you just like you can't press R two. It's just locked. Oh yes, I, I I like this, and the whole game is that everyone's like, come on, you know, you got to join a gang. Got to make yourself known, um, but you literally can't, and you and you spend the whole game trying, and you can't. Yeah, just living um, and living and dying in mediocrity. Yeah, I don't know if people want a game that's like their real life. Yeah, but then also just just to, you know, because it's a very mediocre experience, it's very realistic. Um, if you get arrested, you actually have to serve your prison sentence in real time. Um, I feel like that is it's a bold. Move. Oh, in the real world. Oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not suggesting that the police actually arrest you. We could incorporate that into a a DLC, maybe. Well, that's, I mean, that's realism right there. I don't know what you want past that. Yeah, Um, okay. How about, uh, how how about this one? I've been thinking about this a lot this week um, from Frosty. It just says, CD Projekt Blue, you pick Squirtle in this one. I don't know what this is, (laughs) but I like it a lot. (laughs) Yeah, so is this just the belief that if the higher ups at CG Project Red picked a different start Pokemon, they would be more competent at their job? <laughs> they they would definitely be better at fighting ground type Pokemon. Um, I think that um, what I'm here, what I'm I'm gonna expound off of this a little bit. Uh, in Cyberpunk, we have three life paths, right? Why don't we replace those with Squirtle, Bulbasaur, and Charmander? It still has more. Of a- bloody impact than the actual <laughs> life path so okay th- th- um this, uh, th- there's yeah, a running that... theme here we're just fixing cyberpunk <laughs> that we got okay let's get out no more no more cyber dunks and sorry <laughs> i have to say quickly from crimson from crimson 2877 we did have a submission for cyber dunk 2077 oh, which is brilliant. a robot basketball game <laughs> <laughs> I, that was a very unintended segue um you got anything good um okay i've got oh god this is a whole thing um uh, this, this is from am i saying this right quasar um yeah 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 so i've got parappa the rapper where you have to kick your vent- fentanyl addiction and because you can't rap anymore the game is you getting your lines 
cor- like, correct in auditions. No, because you, wait, because you can't rap anymore. The game is you getting your lines correct in auditions for roles in made-for-TV movies and eventually regularly airing TV shows. Okay, so we have a well, saying. Th- I've, I've been doing I've been doing improv for eight years until this year, obviously. <laughs> um, but I've I've been doing like improv comedy for eight years, and one thing that we say in the biz is bring a brick to the scene, not a house. Um, th- this is a. I don't feel like we've been given anything to to build on here. <laughs> yeah, this this is a mansion. You know, the, the, the whole thing's <laughs> the whole thing's sorted for us. I mean. This you could do like that's that's enough material for like a, a Netflix original really like what else right. can we adapt from this like the whole I mean is there player choice like can you choose to like just stay on fentanyl can you like I don't know pick up another drug instead I don't know maybe like, how is this a video game I, I want this to be a video game I just don't know how. I don't know I don't know if it I don't know if it is or I don't know if it's an animated tie-in movie um yeah. Uh, I want to also, I'm going to throw this out for, for Matt. We had a few variations of this from different people. Um, uh, we had um, animal flossing. Um, animal what? Animal flossing. So oh. I, I, I think I had three three different people submitted animal flossing, uh, just devoid of context. Um, do, is that anything? So... See, I'm not down with the kids. When I first thought of flossing, I genuinely thought of like just cleaning out your teeth. Um, so is maybe this a den- is this a is this like an educational dentistry game? Maybe yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's like I know a veterinary practice game or something. Yeah. Which, oh yeah yeah, 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 absolutely. I feel like we could we like, could sell that. Yeah, and I feel like you know we get a very wholesome market for it. You know, it's a very child friendly yeah. game. While we're on that, I want to throw out from Matt. We got animal tossing new beef. Gang war for <laughs> Animal Crossing when Nook muscles in on Isabel's territory. You know what? I I feel like there has been um I mean I feel like it is known that Tom Nook isn't the most liked uh Animal Crossing character. So I feel like at some point Nintendo needs to address that and just have the other characters go off on him. And yeah. I feel like that's Oh, we've very- we, what we've talked about on this show we we've we talked uh, Tom Nook is our short king. Don't don't get me wrong. <laughs> like um yeah i'm i don't i don't know if i feel good about this one um uh how about how about this one here um from limey a new expansion for fallout 76 that rips off grounded as one of the many gek experiments small out 76 (laughs) so this is a this is an this is an mmo where you're a tiny tiny man in the in the post-apocalypse and you are killing ants. I didn't play a lot of Grounded. I thought the demo was very boring. Shh. <laughs> um, yeah. What um, do you, you? You're. You're. You, this is Honey. I shrunk the. Honey. Honey. I shrunk the apocalypse. Right. Like. <laughs> what, what is this? What I is the like story here? I mean, there were so many bugs in Fallout seventy six. Are we sure that wasn't one of them? That just everything became really small. Are you talking like- about the ants and the spiders in the game? Yeah, I don't know. I, well, I the, ground trying... grounded has a lot of bugs in it too, because there's like there's like giant ants, there's like giant uh, spiders, there's scorpions, I think. Um, there are uh, beetles and stuff like that. So there are already a lot of bugs in, in grounded. Like I think it fits together pretty well. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that that could work. I just feel like it isn't genre I... defining. You know, I want us to make. I mean, we we can't follow up on relaxing namaste with just adding some cool new bugs to fallout 76 you know right and yeah and this this one needs to be look the, the last game was like is our first game we did a we did it for uh mobile because that's the easiest place to develop for and get the word out right and like yeah. now that we've like we've got the money from our mobile game we're we're ready to make our first like quote-unquote real game so like this we needs are. to be like triple a level you know what? And yeah. I think I feel like this one has some potential. Again, from Quasar, uh, a plague tale ignorance. But instead of rats, it's coronavirus, and you have to navigate through a pro tr- through a for pro a pro Trump where there are no masks on, but still get to work on time. Um, yeah, I didn't want to say this one because I think it might be the nug. I was trying to hold on to it. <laughs> oh, okay, <laughs> um, yeah. Well, this is well. This no, like let's let's explore it a little bit. Okay, so I unironically I feel like. 
Okay, there's going to be so much bloody coronavirus media out there when this is all over. And it's going to suck. But I feel like a game where it addresses just the sheer levels of stupidity that we have seen uh, during this plague is a mm-hmm. good way to go about it. And also just like, yeah, when no one's wearing a mask and stuff. I'm trying to think how this could work. So what genre are we going for then? Like, I think, okay, so have you played Plague Tale uh, Innocence? No, I've seen a lot about it though. Um, I've played a few, I've played like two hours of it. It is very good and I need to get back to it. Um, it's on Game Pass, but so in that game, you are in the like French revolution times or earlier even, sorry. It's, it's the, oh, it's the fucking plague. What am I talking about? Yeah. It's like the, you know, the 1300s, right? The, the plague and you're in, you're in medieval France and you are uh, a young woman who has uh, her younger brother with her and your parents, uh, die. Uh, there is an in, there's like a war going on as well as the plague and so you uh, are escaping into the city from the people who are trying to capture you and there are rats everywhere everywhere like there's rats you you fucking like what what okay what in our in our version of this game i don't think i've seen a lot of rats from our current plague what what is the equivalent of like rats to the like the the bubonic plague like to, Look, to now for the coronavirus i i don't want to say it because I feel like it's controversial, but I do sort of want to say Karens, um, <laughs> because they. You, you think that there's like a lot. You think they're like swarming right now, yeah. Yeah, I mean they do swarm. They have those stupid ass like protests about how they want to get their hair cut and how it's like against the Geneva Convention that they can't get their roots <laughs> done. Um, and they're just swarming fucking everywhere, especially if you're a retail worker. Because in this game, presumably you're like this retail worker who's somehow been classed essential and therefore has to keep working throughout the lockdown um that's that's another layer to it so it's it's very um well well, let's not forget the last part of this which is you have to get to work on time i think that's one of i I think if that's the whole game that's not a lot of game i I think maybe there needs to be a little bit more meat to this um okay why don't we put a pin in this one and then i think we can maybe dig some gameplay mechanics out of another game and maybe attach it here let's let's keep going um okay so uh i want to just throw this out because kate is very enthusiastic about it um (laughs) she uh they they, uh they submitted um the bitcher a game of complaining um of course they did (laughs) i i don't know okay let's 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 think for a second um so in The Witcher, you are a gruff daddy who is hunting bounties for uh, the medieval people. I, I played the fucking Witcher. Why don't I remember this? Um, <laughs> okay, you're you're Geralt, and um, you go town to town killing monsters, and then there's like Triss and, and Yennefer and all that garbage. So, um, in The Witcher, I think, are you just complain? Are you Geralt still, but you're just complaining about the things you have to do? Like, oh, this is a lot of work. Rather sit home. Yeah. Like, every time, it's sort of like Fallout 4, where where you accept a side quest, uh, your choices are yes or sarcastic yes. Um, so basically, okay. what, we're, what we're going okay. for is Witcher 3 developed by Bethesda. I know that's a leap. Sorry, Kate, if that's not what you had in mind for the Witcher 3. But... No, I this is... Like... Okay, I like, I like having multiple... Because, like, one of the things about the Witcher I didn't that didn't really hit with me is that like there weren't a lot of dialogue choices right like you you could only move the conversation usually just one way with getting extra information along the way but yeah and i I think if there was a way Mm -hmm. todd sorry todd howard could use his uh writing expertise um to include up to four options um where three (laughs) of the three of them say yes and one of them is just slightly bitchy um and I, yeah. I feel like that could really add a lot to the game. Is this some... Does this have anything to do with the TV show, maybe? Are we reading this from the wrong angle? Like, if you were to... The Geralt in the TV show is, I think, a little even less talkative than the one in the game. Um, He's more bitchy in the, in the Netflix show, I'd say. He's, I think he... I would say he is. You're right. He's um, a bit of a diva, there, to be honest. <sighs> Is, can we tie Gwent into this? I don't know. People fucking buy anything I was, with you Gwent know what? in it. You know what? I was actually thinking. So, um... So, like, Gwent, except you're playing it like you're having an argument with someone. 
Um, and instead of like Gwen, I've never fucking played Gwen. I don't know how it works. Um, it's bad. <laughs> um, so like you go around the world collecting like insults and then you use them in like Gwen arguments with people. I'm stretching this here. Holy shit. I just really like the title. So I, w- I want this game to work. Um, let's, l- yeah, let's, we might need to, to, to move on. Um, let me see here. Um, I had another one on my uh, my radar. Uh, where was it? Yeah, I wanted to get this out of the way because, by the way, I'm a huge fan of these pun ones. Please, just more of those. I would like more of them. Um, like from Next Gen Hef, which is Hack People, a game in which you watch dogs. <laughs> is this is this is this uh, is this Nintendo Dogs? Holy shit! That sort of is, isn't it? A game where you watch, yeah, you you literally are just watching dogs. But I, mean, it... I, suppose, I suppose there's a level of interactivity with Nintendo dogs. So I guess we're going for like less interactivity and just more watching. <laughs> if there's something, look, I've talked to a lot. I've got I've got messages from a lot of gamers this week, and what they told me was that games are too interactive. They want yes. they want to. They want more like uh, they want the game to exist independently from their input. Um, and is this is this now hack people? I think we stylize this. This is all lowercase hack underscore people, right? I f- I think I might have had a brainwave actually. What's up? So so you know how um, when they launched the Kinect, Microsoft were all like, "That's it." The controller's a thing of the past. Fuck controllers. Who uses them anymore? Everyone's just going to use their body and their voice. And then it didn't work because they were cowards and they didn't spend enough time pushing it. Um, yeah. You know, ig- ignore the fact that they tried to bundle it with every Xbox One. They should be bundling it with every Xbox Series X, you know. They didn't try hard enough. So we're going to actually try hard enough. And it's going to be Nintendogs. But it's like still on... like It's on like the 3DS now. Um, and you have to use like, the 3DS camera as a connect, and you have to like use your body to like and your voice, and that's it. You can't put any inputs in in the controller, and if you do, okay. you, you, you I don't, die. I, I don't want you to be able to pet the dogs. I don't want you to be able to feed them. I don't want you to be able to tell them to come inside or tell them to sit. This is a purely. This is like going to the zoo, but in your in your small 3DS screen at 480p. <laughs> And the zoo only has dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, is... Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I've had another brain blast, which is a zoo for dogs. Is that anything? A, a zoo for dogs. <laughs> Just... That's... You know what? Why aren't they a thing? They're not a thing, are they? Just think about... There's so no. many dog breeds out there. You could just have a zoo... And this is this is how we, we... We... We fill the market. There is a market here that isn't getting what they want. And we are going to supply that demand um, with our DS game, uh, which you can only okay. control with your voice and through making actions at the at the notoriously reliable three DS camera. Right. Um, did it, did you also take exactly one three D picture when you first got it, and then never again? <laughs> again, Nintendo I did. cowards. You should have you should have pushed it further. You know, people really yeah. love that technology. <laughs> I, I want to make I a should... note quickly. Sorry, go on. Yeah, I was like, I think I my one 3D picture I took was when I was testing out the 3DS in a store when I was like ten or something, and then when I got my own one, I don't think I even looked at it. <laughs> Man, that's ah, that's sad. Um, I also want to throw out like I know we've been a little unimpressed by by some of these here. There's a I have a, a modifier here from. Uh, from Limey again uh, to add and knuckles if anything fails to impress. Now I appreciate that because sort of a knuckles... Sonic three, yeah, Sonic three and knuckles, of course, being the reference here. Um, if uh, so, if if we come across anything that just isn't impressing, like if we just add knuckles to it, maybe that would fix it. It's like yeah, the idea. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that in mind. And actually, speaking of knuckles. Um, this is the one I've been oh, no. waiting for. Yeah, I yep. just like didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Se- <laughs> I, tr- I I want this game. <laughs> All right, Matt, thank you for this one. Uh, Sekiro Knuckles dies twice. <laughs> okay, so 
Um, I I believe this was this this idea was born out of. Um, I I asked some of my friends in our our Discord for some suggestions and. Like I said, oh, you can make some puns or, like, it can be about Knuckles or whatever. Like, just as an example. <laughs> and then the first thing that was shot back at me was Sekiro Knuckles dies twice. Now, um, let's think for a second. Um, I've got an idea. So. Okay. So, people don't, like, us OG Sonic fans probably remember a time before Shadow the Hedgehog where Knuckles was the edgy one. Um, yeah. But now look at him. He's the stupid one. You know, look at Sonic Boom. They were just ripping him apart because apparently he's the dumb one now and he's got like a body like a Dorito but Sekiro Knuckles Dies Twice <laughs> is a game for the true fans where this is the that, ri- this is the real Knuckles this is not Sonic this is, Knuckles this is the real Knuckles and he's gonna reclaim his place um as the edgy Sonic character because he he was I mean he was first overtaken I think arguably by Metal Sonic and Metal Sonic now, never even said anything though. He was just like He had a cool design. That was enough for us back then. Yeah, that's true. Um uh. I also want to throw out another Knuckles related thing if we can tie it in, I don't know, from uh Frosty, uh Detroit become Knuckles. <laughs> um <laughs> See, I feel like you know, cuz they tried to do a Shadow the Hedgehog spin-off game, but it didn't work. They never tried a Knuckles spin-off. Well, no, I, no they did. Wow, they what is what they had uh, what, sorry? They had Knuckles, was it Knuckles Chaotix? Oh, they did, and Team Chaotix yeah. was in that one, yeah, with Vector, the crocodile. Yeah. I but suppose you're surprised to see me playing the <laughs> piano. <laughs> but, you know, Knuckles is just, he's such an enigma, because one minute he's stupid, the next minute he's edgy. I want to explore that. Have you I seen this? Have you seen the Sonic? Have you seen any of the the clips from the Sonic Boom TV show, which is actually I've, very good? I I have watched the Sonic Boom TV show, let alone not oh, okay. you know, watch yeah, clips I, from it. I, yeah, yeah, I've watched a lot of clips of it, and like I, I remember, there's actually a running thread in that show of Knuckles being like a, a really like staunch feminist, like very outwardly spoken. Yes, and he yeah, and he, he speaks out about misogyny and and stuff like that. Yeah, and he called out Amy because Amy was like this like. Uh, like pop feminist, you know, very yeah, like, exactly, like, right, yeah. And, but he was, he's a true, um, you know, he's kind, a feminist. kind of a third wave, yeah. yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. Whereas Amy was this sort of like riding on the aesthetics of the second wave, but not really accomplishing right. anything. But Knuckles is actually challenging stuff, you know, he's actually pushing it forward. Um, so that just adds to the the layers. Like, what has made him go through all these changes in his life? Um. And we also want to point out, um, do you remember the... Oh, I'm getting so sidetracked. Do you remember the Sonic movie, like the first one? The, um... When you say... Which which movie is this? It's, it's like an anime that is in the 90s. Um, oh, it was it using the Sonic from the, like, the, um, the, not, the Saturday morning, like, cartoon with, like, Jaleel no, White? it wasn't actually. This was, like, this was going I may not have seen edgy. this then. Oh my god, please look it up, it's so funny. But yeah, it was this really bizarre anime movie uh, with Sonic, Tails, Knuckles in it. And for some reason, um, they decided Knuckles is a cowboy in this one. Um, And he has, like, I want to say a Texan accent. And a cowboy hat and a lasso for the whole film. And again, that just... I I mean, I feel like that would lend itself well to, like, a Soulsborne game. He could use the the lasso as his weapon. Sort of like the thing in Bloodborne, where you can turn it into a whip. Um, I can see this working. You think Knuckles should have a whip cane? Yes. Yeah, I mean, that goes without saying, really. Okay, I I think that we're probably getting... We need to get back to it, but I I also do want to, like, set... I think think Knuckles is probably going to have to work his way into the game after this. Um, Let's let's do some, like... Let's do some, like, rapid fires. I want to make sure everyone who submitted gets a a shout-out. I'll throw one out here from... uh, Sorry, I actually want to express a little concern. I have two from uh, from Dirith here that both look like somebody had a stroke while typing. Um, So one of them is Dr. Zelda Battlefield Operations. Um, You might have to repeat that that one for me. Doctor Doctor Zelda Battlefield Operations. Does that mean anything to you? Doctor, no. I... Doc Doctor Zelda Battlefield Operations. Okay. Um. How about this one? Turtle Rescue Romance Suicide with Water Bottles. Okay. Like um... I said, I, I'm sort of medically concerned about a possible stroke here. Um. 
I feel like this is a cry for help. Um, I hope I hope you're doing okay, buddy. Um, you got any other good ones here? Um, let's just see, let's just try yeah. like rapid fire through these. Yeah. Okay. I have got. Uh, you play Satan working at McDonald's. Devil May Fry. Uh, thank you, Kate, for that one. I, I enjoyed the title alone. <laughs> Devil, Devil May Fry is very good. I, I'm I yeah. know it. Yeah. Um, Winecraft. Get drunk and build something. Okay. Yeah, Kate. Again, I I, I really um feeling this one because you I know have... when you've just had too much to drink and you just feel like you're as intelligent as you're ever gonna be and you need to get something done now. I I want them to convert that energy into a video game. It's like yeah, when you when you get drunk on wine and you go on Amazon and you and you do buy like a second copy of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven accidentally, <laughs> like which which isn't a th- which is not a thing that happened to me. Absolutely uh, not. No, and I would never do that. But um, if you if if that were to happen to you, like I, I like that energy though. Like I I can do anything, and I've lost control of myself at the same time. So yes. Um, also, I, I want to give I a think... shout out here with Minecraft. Maybe we can we can get something from this uh, from Quasar Minecraft. Uh, I think Minecraft oh, no. Wolfenstein, but you have to defeat Hitler's new world order and build a better one from the ashes. Uh, so this is that actually that that went a lot better than it could have. Um. <laughs> that, uh, yeah, I I was worried when I saw that title, but yeah, I, I, I um, like that idea. Yeah, it's a good. Oh, also, I'm, sorry, I just saw another. I want to give a quick throw out to um from Momo. It just says Elden Ring. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess if if we could maybe make Elden Ring in time. So we've got to make Cyberpunk by February, and Elden Ring. Uh, we have to make Elden Ring before it comes out, which is 2073 at this point, so... Okay, we're, we're good. We, we have, have time. We have I, need, time. I, need, I need a little bit of crunch. We'll be fine. Okay, um, I'm starting to... I'm starting to panic. Uh, how about this one from Word Word? Uh, the First of Us, Part Zero. I guess it's a... This is a prequel to The Last of Us, I guess. Um, oh, so this, this is gonna be uh, Naughty Dog's attempt to win back all of the fans, so it's gonna be as uncontroversial as possible. Um, this is going to be about an adult white man. He's going to be a gruff dad. He's going to be a bounty hunter. And he's going to have a gun attached to a car that he's going to drive. Um, and he's got a daughter, obviously, but she never speaks in the entire game. Uh, oh, she just that's sits good. There. Um, in fact, yeah, in fact, it's 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 hard to notice the first run through. You'll see it on your second for sure. But no, none of the women in the game actually speak ever. No, and they the don't. Gamer, the um, gamers, the gamers, they love it. Not even the antagonist, who is a is a slightly buff woman, um, <laughs> and you actually you defeat her by telling just her with that even it's... A, a hint a hint of muscle tone. <laughs> you not, she's not her... she's not like she's not even like buff is not like the first adjective you'd use to describe her. It's like maybe no. the ninth or tenth one. Like that's she, that's where we're at. <laughs> she might be like a pinch overweight as well, and by overweight I mean like she has got like she looks like a human being and right, yeah, um, yeah. Ha- how you defeat her is that you say she has an unrealistic amount of muscles um for yeah. uh, for a f- for a femoid you know um and she disintegrates and ceases to exist um so i'm yeah i feel like the first was part zero it's got some potential it's gonna win it's um gonna win game of the year it's gonna sell really well um and the gamers will be happy every everyone yeah. wins apart from everyone wins you know, um, apart from most people yeah, I, I, I think I want to also look at this one from Nilo. Nine persons, nine hours, one door, a door holding simulator. I I was thinking of that because that is a predicament this is, when you just end, end up holding right. the door for so many people. And that, that's that got horror game potential. Are you familiar with the Zero Escape games? No. <laughs> Okay, so that th- this is the first. This is the first game in the Zero Escape series. Uh, nine persons, nine hours, nine doors. Um, but this is nine persons, nine hours, one door. So, it, okay, the, in the Zero Escape, in the first Zero Escape game, you and not, you, nine people find themselves uh, trapped on a ship in like a saw-like situation, and there's a there's a voice on the radio, Zero, who has trapped them in this in this uh, uh, cruise ship and locked all the windows and doors out, and it's a uh, and they have nine hours to get out or they're all going to die. And they all have a watch strapped to their wrist that you have to use to scan through certain doors by, like, doing math and, like, adding the numbers together. And it's a horror game, 
but it's also like a, it's like a, a 3d puzzle thing and also a visual novel they are amazing games okay. on steam go get them um in this is not there's one door let's 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 take it back you're this is you have nine people and for nine hours you have to hold this door i'm sorry i know i, I know i'm coming back to this again i think this is a good use of the dual sense adaptive trigger because you have to physically <laughs> hold the weight of the door open for nine hours on your PS4 controller. Is it controller. like it? It's like that truck driving game where you actually have to like in real time drive to like California or something, and you have to like occasionally make sure you don't drive off the road, or you have to start all the way back at the beginning. Uh, people stream that, you know, for some reason. So I yeah, feel that's like actually a stream- weirdly popular streaming game. Um, yeah, it hey, is far- farming farming. Tru- farming slash truck simulator people are you guys okay <laughs> i don't like I, I don't i don't know that i understand um i want to give another well, quick f- few sh- sorry go on I, I think I we want to like call in our uh, sorry i just want to say like well, i want to call in our, our guest in a few minutes here so uh go ahead with this oh, and let's, let's try and knock out any others we want to get through quickly okay um well, I say I just want to give a shout out here to Fallout Florida. It's just regular times. I really like that idea. I can't believe we haven't had a, a Fallout set in Florida yet. Um, just think about how well, fucking insane it, that well, would because be. Because it wouldn't it wouldn't require any like any any changes. It would just be like the Microsoft Flight Simulator version of of going to Florida. <laughs> um, oh god. Let me see. Uh, who's that one from? <clears throat> oh, that is oh. from Matt. Thank you, Matt. Okay. Um, yeah, I. That, that is pretty good. Um, hmm. I'm trying to I'm trying to see if there's any others we need to get out here. Um, I like th- this is see like okay. I want to give a shout out to uh, uh, Dairyberry uh, for giving some actually good ideas. I don't know if we can want to use them because they're good game ideas. But one of them is uh, an online co-op Star Wars game in the vein of Ghost of Tsushima Legends, where you and some other Jedi work together to fight off waves of droids and collect Republic intel. Um, this is so a good idea. Genuinely good. That's actually a good is game. This, now, can we, can we, I don't know if I can sell, can we put Baby Yoda into it? Oh god, we're gonna have to, aren't we? If For we're gonna sake. sell this, we're, Baby Yoda needs to be a, a DLC. Yeah, oh um, god, yeah, that, they'll leave that shit up, yeah. Yeah, um, I also want to give a shout out to this one, which has, um, sort of been, like, really getting at me, um, from Axel. The Younger Scrolls, an open world quest to make vellum and ink. Uh, which is kind of fun. I I want to like just kind of focus on the younger scrolls. Like these are some new scrolls. Um, we just found they're brand new, hot off the press. Um, I feel like I feel like before we we uh, call in our 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 uh, guest here, I feel like let's focus in. I, I think I'm feeling a Plague Tale Ignorance has the most meat on it. Yes. Um, oh, absolutely. Yes. I'm just trying think, to think if we can draw anything in from our other games. Uh, how about this? Sorry. It. Maybe if we wanted some, maybe for the gameplay uh, from Frosty, we have Hack and Slash the Planet. Oh. Um, okay. Is that now? That's so, that's maybe like a Bayonetta style gameplay to this. Yeah. So it's going to be more cathartic. It's going to be you actually. Throw <laughs> oh yeah. Down the these cabin. are anti mask These are anti maskers that you're like ba- fighting in like <laughs> Bayonetta ways <laughs> with like flying karate. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> okay, and, Knuck- and Knuckles is also there. <laughs> oh, I, see, okay. Knuckles is Knuckles is a man of many ideologies. I beg that he's not an anti-masker. Oh, he's not. He's not. All right. Uh let's right. let's let's call on our our guest and let's see if we can uh, get this game published. All right, give me one Holy second. Okay. My uh, my laptop's being awful, so you'll need to use like the I have to use my Discord through my phone, but you'll be able to hear with that. We just record into the mic though. So this is how you hear it through Discord. Yeah, you can hear the re on on Discord here. Okay. Uh, hey, are you there? yo. Yeah. Okay, yeah hey. okay. Hey. Okay. So um, I'm gonna close this. So um, let's see here. Okay, so, uh, oh, sorry, uh, that was our mom. What? <laughs> My mom's telling us about the Christmas tree ornaments. 
uh, the, the compromises she had to make with the ornaments this year. Yeah, you talked about the bow last year. Okay, we're going to leave all that in. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like that happened last year, too. I think so. Okay, so um, Re, why don't you, why don't you start on on this this? And remember, this is just a fresh pitch. Okay. Okay, where do we start? Okay, so let's just kick it off with the title. This is called a Plague Tale Ignorance. Um, it was pitched to us as uh, a coronavirus inspired game, but instead of navigating through rats, you are navigating through anti maskers and Karens, um, and. Now that that's the premise, I'm going to pass over to Nair. I have to explain the yeah, gameplay. Yeah, so, right. So, uh, if you're not familiar, a pla- do you know A Plague Tale Innocence? This is the the original game. No. That that game is a sort of a, um, a, a puzzle adventure game where you're in medieval France during the plague. Mm-hmm. And uh, you are you are like a, a woman trying to protect her brother during the plague. And a bunch of soldiers are coming after you. There's like rats everywhere. And it's like there's a lot of stealth elements. We're thinking to kind of switch the gameplay up for for this one is a plague tale ignorance, right? We're trying to think. We're uh, we got a we got another idea for kind of like hack and slash gameplay, but it's like hack and slash the planet was the idea. So that the gameplay is that you know you know like kind of like roughly what like Bayonetta looks mm-hmm. like, like the gameplay. We're thinking this is sort of like hordes of there's like hordes of anti maskers, right? Okay. Um, they're out on the street. They're like protesting. They don't want to wear masks. They're they're probably anti vaxxers too, right? They don't want the vaccine. Maybe that's maybe that's two different classes of Ooh, enemies right there. That's that's, that's your like too. weapon. Your weapon is the vaccine. Oh, the weapon is the vaccine, yeah. and, you're, and you're slashing it into them. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like when your ultimate, like we are clear climax move almost is like you just like do this. There's like this little like kill cam of you jumping up and like vaccinating somebody. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but also, as you're fighting people, they should randomly drop dead from the coronavirus because they're not vaccinated or masking. So are we trying to keep... <laughs> sorry, are we trying to kill these enemies or are we trying to keep them alive? <laughs> because it sounds like yeah. we're, we're, like, doing a... It sounds like we're, like, Bayonetta fly-kicking around with guns in our feet, but we're trying to keep the people alive? Yeah, are so we shooting the, the virus? We've, we've invented yeah, the a new genre. Here? This this is the this is the opposite of hack and slash. This oh, is... oh. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Hack this... and vax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, gonna, this is the world's that, first hack and vax game. Um, uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, I, I've got the idea here. So what this is going to be is there is a... Uh, okay, uh, all of the, the enemies are, are like these anti-maskers. Like, and they're... Uh, over time they are going to contract the virus but like you you are still a good person so like even though these people are being awful shitheads like you're still trying to save them right and so the virus itself is like coming at you in like waves right and so you're trying to fight off the virus before and these these karens are like wandering towards the virus they're trying to get it right (laughs) and you're trying to like keep them alive by like fighting off these viruses in time and like i think this could prove for some interesting like boss fights because then are we like small and inside of a body, <laughs> or are we like fighting? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh! Like are we, we are lit- the virus. I no, no. We're, are we oh, fighting no. the virus on a molecular level, or oh. or, or is this See, like? I, I don't think we are. I don't think we are. I, I think we are. Ju- we, we are just oh, a on. nurse who who has been who has been tasked with delivering the vaccine, but you've just been sent to the center where they've sent all the anti faxes So yeah, you are just human sized. With the like Pfizer vaccine in your hand, having to try and like hack it into people. I think there should be like a herd immunity aspect where like you're trying to hit a certain percentage <laughs> of people vaxxed to save the community. That you're yeah. Trying. Okay. That, is this? Oh, is this maybe? Maybe this isn't a mission based thing. Maybe this is an open world thing where you're going from town to town, saving them. Yeah. Saving yeah. Like trying town. to vaccinate a certain amount of the town for the herd immunity, and then like you know the the little meter turns blue instead of red. Um, when you get enough and like you can you know you're just kind of like traveling like johnny appleseed planting vaccinations <laughs> it, it, okay so we have to introduce the other part of this which is that the the last part of the title is 
A Plague Tale oh, Ignorance and Knuckles. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, Knuckles so, is also there. Are we playing? I think we're playing yeah. as Knuckles. Knuckles is the one vaccinating everybody, right? He's well, seen, I was thinking yeah. Knuckles was was the anti-vaxxing. You think Knuckles is anti-vax? We were talking yeah. about that earlier. Yeah. Tails see, would definitely be pro-vax, and I feel like Knuckles would... See, I think I feel like the problem is that like the recent Sonic media has made Knuckles out to be stupid, but I don't think he was always yeah. that way, right? See, like, I he, think of all of them, Sonic is the anti-vaxxer. I, I feel like he watches too much Joe Rogan. <laughs> Um, so he's, he's, but he's like one of those, fan? He, yeah, oh, definitely about Shadow of a Doubt, but he's in like, a, he's an anti-vaxxer in like a, like quote unquote centrist kind of way where he's like, oh yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get it unless I know what's in it sort of thing. But then it also eats like a million chili dogs a day. Um, right. N- Knuckles, I feel like, um, we've already, we were talking earlier, actually, Knuckles is such an enigma. We don't understand his ideology. I can imagine handing him a mask and being like, put this on. And he's like, I can't, I can't. Like from Sonic Adventure. <laughs> <laughs> or like, take this vaccine. Yeah. I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh my god. That would be good. Um, I think, and then he, he'd be like, no time for games? Um, but, okay, well, let, let's think. Is this our? Is this the Sonic open world game we've been wanting? <laughs> is this how it we is. do it? It is. And then Tails it, is leading it, the vaccine development. I think Tails yeah. has developed the vaccine. I think yeah. definitely, oh my god. definitely. It's... It's an adventure style game once again that every character. This is Sonic Adventure Three. <laughs> yeah, every town is a level that you have to save. Yeah, like, okay. Ev- every character has a different perspective on it. So you got it- Sonic, the sort of like don't care. Joe Rogan said it might have something bad in it. Uh, Tails desperately just trying to get everyone to take oh, it. Oh, oh, oh! I've got it. Okay, hack and vax is not a. It's not a hack and slash thing. Half of the half of the gameplay is the vaccinations, right? The other half of it is Tails hacking into government stuff. So <laughs> we're that's his gameplay. It's like he's like hacking stuff while while Knuckles like he's updating the government websites to, yeah, to n- put accurate n- information on them. I think oh <laughs> now that could be good. I, I wonder if Knuckles is like the one who's going out and like actually Okay, here we go. That's what Tails is doing. Knuckles is the one going out on the streets, like getting the vaccinations out. Sonic is the one like running them from town to town to like spread it around. Now, or instead, instead of Knuckles collecting the Master Emerald, he could be collecting all the Karens the pe- <laughs> and bringing them to one place to vaccinate. <laughs> what if what if he's collecting the pieces of the of the vaccination, like the the seven crystals that, like, when you combine them, will like make you immune? Is that anything? Oh, okay. That I feel like um, I feel like the main no the main reason. thing that I want to come across in this is that none of these people want your help. They they do not okay. want to be saved. They want right. they want they the virus. Don't. Um, we've got a st- Big the Cat has to have a story somehow, um, and I feel like his is that he's shielding because he is, um, pr- I feel like he's probably got health problems, but, uh, he's one of those people who, like, is dead, he- who is, he will get very ill if he has the virus, but he's, like, he just doesn't comprehend it, so he's, go- he's going out all well, the time. I mean, like, is his, is this, so this is, like, a Sonic Adventure thing, right? You start on your, your the, yeah. the start screen and you pick one of, like, six or whatever characters. And, you like, do, yes. There's, there's and several all got stories. they their own part. They've all okay. got their own like thing going Big on. I the cat could have started it by fishing out like a toxic fish. And feeding oh, it. did Froggy <laughs> start the coronavirus? Fro- Froggy is a super spreader. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So, so that okay. That actually, this actually is fully kind of circling full fully back around to just what Sonic Adventure DX is already. <laughs> <laughs> Where, like everybody's trying to get Froggy. <laughs> um. We, we have and, reinvented uh, yeah. Sonic Adventure. Um, That's our okay, pitch. so let's 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 uh, hash this out. So who are who are our characters? We have Sonic, uh, Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, and and I think Big, Big is, the is Big playable, or or can we yeah. like just have him be a or, part or maybe of you just always and, see him like partying with groups of people with no masks on, like he's like on a fishing <laughs> trip with somebody. Like oh yeah, none yeah. Of them are wearing see, masks. right. Um, and then I, I think I want Big. I want Shadow in there because I want I want Shadow to be like. Somebody who's like, I want him to like be working for like anonymous or something. Like he's on the dark web, like sp- like <laughs> trying to like. I, I now is he is what is he doing? What's though? his goal? What's his goal? He has no goal. He's truly ambivalent towards good and evil. So he is both yeah. spreading false information and real information <laughs> through the dark web. <laughs> um, with no with oh, no God. with only the intent of creating chaos. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Eggman is like threatening to destroy the like the world, and nobody's taking him seriously. Like he has a laser machine. Okay, Eggman has his Eggman's a playable character. He has his own separate story unrelated to the virus, where he's trying to take over the oh, world, yeah. but like nobody, nobody cares. cares. Yeah, yeah, and also he's just really annoyed because he wanted to be the one to um, like defeat humanity, but humanity's defeating itself. 
Um, okay. So he's he's really annoyed. So maybe he's on Sonic's team trying to vaccinate people so that he can destroy them another way. Maybe. Yes. Oh, oh my god. I also don't want to like get away because the original suggestion had a, a part in it where like the whole point of the game is that you have to get to work on time. Which I feel like <laughs> we have strayed I don't, I don't, from that a bit. Is that we've strayed from that, but I, I think we can bring it back. Like I think the I think the metric of like if I've saved this town is like if, if enough people are like vaccinated that they can get to yeah. work on time. Oh, okay. Work yeah. On time. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. So that that'll be like a meter there, but like any I think this is mission based then, right? But it's like different towns each mission. Yeah. Instead of getting to the goal ring, you have to get a certain percent of the town yeah, saved. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay, so what do the enemies look like then at this point? Like, because I, I know these people are trying to run away from being vaccinated, but like, there, there's got to be like an actual combat. Like, I mean, what are, they are, what just, are we fighting? They're, they're Karens, but like, what's a Karen's attack apart from like just calling the police? Well, like, there, there are what, what is the uh, equivalent of like e- Eggman robots? Like, what is the equivalent of that yeah. for this? They, they could be um, the the community militia, the, you know, the people, the anti maskers <laughs> who bring their guns. <laughs> Oh god! Oh. So we're going for a Shadow the Hedgehog so vibe as yeah, well. Yeah, this is Shadow. The, so we okay. have guns, right? Okay, yeah. so we have guns in this one. Um, I feel like Sega dropped that aspect too too quickly. They you know? did. They, they should have. They should have kept running with it. it. No, um, they gave should, Sonic a sword stuck. in the next one, and it just wasn't good. Um, okay, I think that did we have any other stuff we were supposed to add on to this? I I'm sorry. I also I know we can't add any more to the title. I I just remember we had a submission from uh, Inkweaver that was um, to add whatever we we do add <laughs> add this subtitle end layer <laughs> to the end of it. End layer <laughs> like a like a Final Fantasy kind of a thing. <laughs> and Knuckles end layer. See, like I don't want the title to get too unwieldy, but I I also kind of do. So a a Plague Tale colon ignorance and sign Knuckles another colon end layer. <laughs> Is, oh, what is and the, um, for for the re-releases, there's final chapter prologue as well. Yeah, this is yeah yeah. Uh, okay, I I don't know like if we're gonna put the end layer on there, I want I wanted to have some like Final Fantasy ass stuff going on there. Like, is there maybe? The, oh, that's just I, I guess is that the crystals, the chaos emeralds, or this? I mean, like, what are we trying to do in? I, I feel like we're I feel like we're missing some of the inspiration from a Plague Tale ignorant or uh, innocence the real one because that well, one is I, also I, like I don't want I don't, don't want, it, want the Plague want Tale innocence I don't want it to hold us back I don't want to hold back our creativity we're a young oh, yeah, studio yeah yeah, the yeah, sky's yeah that's the true, limit. You're right yeah yeah so um we're uh okay so I think we've got I think we've got a solid pitch here um you and who who are our playable characters let's make sure we got that we got Sonic we got Tails we got Knuckles we have uh, Eggman. And then I think Shadow. I'm ins- and then uh, and should we need, I'm should we get Amy in there? What is Amy doing? She seems like she might oh. be the Karen, the head of the Karen. Yeah, though, she's is the problem. A Karen. little bit. Her, that, she's, she's like a reformed Karen. Her story is about um, she realizing that her ascent. Yeah, she does. Her essential oils aren't actually Maybe helping. She has a she has socially distant get-togethers with her with her friends. Like <laughs> yeah, she does yeah. it properly. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and like oh, uh, oh that that could be good. I feel like this is getting to be, like, a little too, like, on the nose. Like, I want it to be, like, a little bit more, like... I want it to be, like, a a, a little more comical. Like, I want it to be, like, a satire of the real things happening in the world. Like, I, I don't want it to be, like, so so on the nose. Like, can we can we add a little bit more, like, I guess, like, a lev- a layer of, like, fantasy or, or science fiction can to you, this? Can you really add parody to real life anymore? Yeah, like, yeah, real life not. is beyond parody. Is okay. So, what are our knuckles stages? Just like flying around to find the three pieces of the vaccine to, to put together. It is, yeah. And yeah. also, you have to be quick because um, obviously, like with the current Pfizer vaccine they're using, you have to store it at really low temperatures, and you can't have it out for too long. So you have like an insane There's time. That you have like t- okay. you have like two minutes to find all the pieces. Okay. All right. Um. And then Tails is doing a hacking. What does the hacking gameplay look like? Um, or maybe Shadow should be see, the hacker. Shadow does seem more like see, a hacker. That's, that's I think t- Tails to is be honest, doing like real research and oh, so Tails is doing like, like he's leading science. the vaccine development. Okay, well, all right. To be honest, I actually think Tails is one of those people that probably gets into like Twitter fights with um like COVID <laughs> deniers. See that. So that's that's his that's his gameplay. He like replies to every Trump tweet. He's one of those okay. people. That's not great. Um, <laughs> I think. Okay, I, I see what you're saying, though. Okay, and then Amy's gameplay, she has a big hammer. Is she using it for anything? 
Oh, how does a hammer come into this? Um, yeah, oh, that's like, that, it's actually two meters long, so she goes around keeping make, making everyone. Making oh, sure so it's like yeah, like gallery, so six feet apart, yeah. like distance, distance, people. distance people. Yeah, and yeah. if you if you come too close, she'll just smash you literally just with the yeah. hammer. And maybe like exactly. her level is converting a certain number of people with, like to to be more precautious, like. No, to be like more mindful of. If like, she can change like a couple people's mindsets, then she completes the level. Okay. <laughs> So these are all, like, so I think I like this because it's, like, I think it's, like, more like Sonic Adventure 2. There's, like, each each mission. So, like, but, but like, in this case, like, for, like, if you're in, like, whatever, like, City Escape Town, like, that's the same mission one for, the mission one is set in the same place for everybody. They just have different goals. Okay. Depending on who your character you picked is. Yeah. Um, and then we have, like, a, this, this intricate concurrent story. What does the ending look like? What's the final boss? Maybe once oh, everyone God. is vaccinated, then Eggman appears and he's been developing his big weapon this whole time, and now it's too late to stop him because nobody noticed. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> no so, one was preparing for it. No one was. Like, no so one does was... Eggman win? Does Eggman win this time? Maybe that's the moral. Well, like, we spent so much time focusing on COVID that Eggman won. That's not. That doesn't have anything to do with real life. <laughs> Eggman's not well, like. That's the satire. <laughs> that's what the, we the, need. The moral. Yeah, the moral of the story is um, actually the anti faxers were right. We should focus. <laughs> that, yeah, that's what that's what we see. This this is turning into sort of a Far Cry Five thing where the alt right cultists were right, <laughs> um, uh, which I, I didn't like. Um, is there is there maybe Eggman is like uh, I want this to be like a climactic ending though. Like, can we use the big water monster again? <laughs> Oh. From Sonic Adventure, mm. Chaos. Wait, so we, it said we have like if perfect chaos, we have perfect COVID. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there we go. There, there it is. So it's COVID one all the way up to nineteen, right? Okay. Okay, yeah. COVID ones or nineteen. And like comes with COVID twenty. Like, no, no, like okay. I was thinking like it's like a creature, like it's the same way Chaos is a creature, oh. but its name is COVID, and like it, 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 it like. The first time you fight it, it's like COVID zero, like the yeah. same way as chaos, and it goes all the way up to nineteen throughout throughout the game, like as it's collecting as, it affects more as it's collecting the chaos emeralds or whatever. Okay. Um, and then you have to fight it at the end. And uh, does Sonic die in this one? Oh, I mean, didn't he die in Sonic Forces and then like not die? We could pull that again. I feel like we haven't done that in a while. That was I mean, so. We did that in Sonic- I just like have to give a shout out to like in like 15 minutes into Sonic Forces, Knuckles like straight up says to Tails, "Sonic is dead." <laughs> <laughs> like, Eggman killed him, and it, it's just like you can't say that, <laughs> Knuckles. You can't. Oh, you can't say that. Just imagine. The but kids then like they find out. Christmas. But that. But it's almost worse because then they find out like, and again Knuckles says to everybody like. Okay, uh, he's like, we found out Sonic's alive. Eggman's been torturing him in captivity for six months. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> yeah, this is Sonic. Um, okay, I think we've got a good game here. Um, we are, um, we're shipping out, was it, it's a, a pl- uh, I think we'll, we'll cut the last subtitle. So this is a Plague Tale colon ignorance and then and sign uh, Knuckles. And um, what systems is this coming to? Oh god, what what system could hold such a game? Oh, I guess I guess Sega's just... publishing, right? Uh, since uh, this is, probably can we yeah, just I like think... I I feel like let's just put it on the Dreamcast or something. No more. You want to put it on the Dreamcast? <laughs> let's, let's pull a <laughs> pull a Cyberpunk and release it for all the oldest consoles we can find. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, let's. We're gonna make one version for PC that looks amazing, and then the we're gonna make one for <laughs> like we're gonna make one for the Dreamcast that is gonna be the heavily marketed version, and one that only runs on original Pac-Man machines from like the seventies. <laughs> you have to hack your you have to hack your Pac-Man machine to get it to work. Um, okay, <laughs> uh, I like I think this is good. Is are there is this, this is a this, how, what is was this is like a sixty dollar single player game, mm. or is this can you do this co-op? Do you think? Maybe it's uh, you get a free copy when you get vaccinated. Oh, yeah, that could be okay. good. That's a good. That could idea. be good for promotion. Yeah. yeah. The okay. So I is, mean, the, is that this, could is convert this... anti-vaxxers, I think. Can you can you join together with other people's worlds? And so, like, when I do like Sonic's mission in, in my world, like you know, you can do the Tails mission at the same time or whatever in the same like area for online. Multiplayer. So we're in multiplayer. Cor- 
Can you do so like, like oh my Death god? Stranding okay, coming this into is this. a this is a okay. I think you can do a, like an Avengers almost like Destiny thing. Like you have this. This is the multiplayer mode. It's separate, I think. But you have a uh, a group of six people in a party, and uh, it's PVE. So you're you're all working together. We all have to do your missions simultaneously. Yeah, you all have to do your missions simultaneously, like in the same like world, and like not fuck each other over. Oh, uh, okay. So if you do something uh, out of order, you could, like, ruin it. For yeah, yeah, exactly. Party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, actually, I, I, I think that could be fun, actually. That'd be really good. And yeah. then, like, it, it requires a lot of... It requires very intense communication. Yeah, like, especially Knuckles with his yeah, getting to the fridge you on gotta, time. You gotta be on comms if you want Knuckles to get to the fridge on time. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's, like, oh, like, you know, like, you, you see, like, a, a, a cement truck has, like, broken down and like on, like, one street. And you're like, oh, Knuckles, like take a left on like park street or you're gonna get stuck in the cement you know stuff like that um and that like you, you know you've, you've oh maybe tails is uh sending commands to everybody from the oh he's like in the command, command center yeah oh that and he can see the map of all the the like moving parts of yeah, the city like the groups of uh, actually can we ditch the single player part <laughs> this is really good <laughs> um okay i i think uh let's see uh okay i i don't know uh re what do you think uh well can we? Can, okay, I'm 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 getting really excited about this this six person PVE uh, co op intense cooperation experience to destroy the virus. I think this is. I think we do this Overwatch style and we ship that out first, and then we can uh, like five do years campaign. five years later we can say, oh, this is uh this is uh, a Plague Tale Ignorance too, and then it's just the campaign for that first game. Okay. Um, and by that by that time, I think we'll we'll have a lot better idea. Uh, of, of how the virus goes and stuff um okay i think that's good i think this is th- i think this is an online multiplayer is this is this free to play then oh free to play online multiplayer um is this is there microtransactions oh what would you buy would you buy like I mean, you can buy a different um you can buy mask, new sh- cosmetic masks that your oh wear. oh yeah i think all the like characters yeah yeah oh that's good we're also going to have a DLC where you can play as Team Dark and actually just spread coronavirus. Um, <laughs> I feel that's got potential. Okay, there's a dark story too. <laughs> the, the hero story, the dark story, and then Big the Cat. <laughs> and Big the Cat has his own <laughs> campaign. <laughs> okay, th- those are the three campaigns, right? And I think they all converge into one ending. Like, And then there's, instead of the bio-lizard, we have the biohazard. <laughs> right, <laughs> and, <laughs> which is what it kind of was called. Yeah. Um... Okay, that's good. And then, I, I don't know if we go... Okay, I, I think that we go... I think we go, f- like, this is a, a paid game. Maybe this is, like, a $40 game, right? Um, yeah. it Like, an Overwatch, where it's, like, a little easier to get in the door. But there are... There are there are loot... Are there loot boxes? What do we... No, no, we don't do loot crates. No loot boxes? Okay. Yeah, um, we're these we're are, not these spreading are... another virus, come on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's its own uh, issue. Got them. Okay, so no no loot boxes. I think you can buy cosmetic masks, or maybe you can buy new shoes for Sonic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> or Obviously. whatever everyone has a customizable thing like oh man like you're up it's like overwatch like you're online and you see like oh man that sonic has golden shoes <laughs> he's like been playing for 400 <laughs> hours <laughs> okay <laughs> okay I, this is good i think we made a good video game we have, um, and it's and it's, well, it's, it's, cer- it's also we have like a social made a video good. game that that's the thing though. Like we're at Jeff Keeley's like awards. We are we are gonna win the Games for Impact award hundred percent for this. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Like for our, for our we're very we're serious lives. and very respectful. Yeah. Fa- <laughs> and this is good. And like I think it's good because it's also Sonic. So like we can sell it to, to like educating kids too. And that that way we get that education money for funding. Right. God, it's, there is not an audience this doesn't appeal to. We are so no. We've covered everybody. Yeah. And this, maybe Shadow has a gun then. Yeah, I think that, that I think that's how we fit it in, and that that's how we get all the gamers in. Is that Shadow has a gun and he also hacks? Yeah. <laughs> so, Shadow is basically playing Cyberpunk seven twenty seventy seven <laughs> while everyone else is doing the other stuff. Okay. Oh god. This is. I'm actually very happy with this. And now. Big the Cat is still playing fishing simulator. <laughs> yeah, Big the Cat is still fishing. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. He's still fishing for Froggy. Okay. I think we've landed on a good thing here. Um, all right, thank you, uh, Nikhil, for for joining us. Um, thank you, everyone, who for who who submitted stuff. Um, we we definitely did not have time to read even half of them because you there were seventy submissions. So, um, yeah, thank we, you so uh, much. Like, yeah, even just. Even just the pun titles that we couldn't get much out of, they made me laugh. So I'm very happy. Thanks, yeah. guys. 
Yeah, exactly. And, like, uh, I think I'm going to try to... We'll probably do one of these every few months, I think. Um, I think maybe around holidays to keep it on some sort of a schedule. But I don't know. Maybe we'll do one every few months or so. So, yeah, keep keep an eye out for, for more of these. And thank you for everyone who submitted stuff. Um, so, I think you want to... Um, Let's see, uh, Nikhil. So I, I've I've shipped out this game to you, and you're you're a reviewer. You're at, you're at uh, IGN, and you've got oh, this. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. yeah, good job. Um, you've got this ahead of time, and um, you're playing it, and uh, you, you know you've got a few copies of it. So everyone in the office, you're playing a full co-op match, and okay. you've uh you've you've played like you know nine ten hours of it. You got a good idea of what it is. What what can we get a numerical score for this? Yep, this is uh we're gonna go with a nine on this one. Oh wow! Holy shit! We get a nine from IGN nine. on our first game on console. We're going minus Damn. one point because you can never really get a group of six people to play a game for any amount of time. Someone will always have to leave or not be there. Yeah, I think we have matchmaking, but yeah. like the, the comms are important. I think yeah. so. Like you really are only going to do well if you have everybody on. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Great. Well. Uh. Thanks, everybody. And um. Yeah. We'll be back to our regular episodes. Uh. uh this is gonna go up on Monday. The I guess the twenty first, and then on uh Monday the twenty eighth is gonna be our, our Death Stranding episode, which we've already recorded here. But after that, we'll be back to like normal recording, uh, posting schedule and everything. So, um. Yeah. yeah we'll uh see you guys in the new year, and it will be better. <laughs> Yeah, oh god, so this is damn, this is gonna be one of a, this is our last recorded episode of the year, right? Or one yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess uh, we're we're done recording yeah. after this one. So we'll yeah, we'll we'll be back in, in January in, in full force, stronger than ever, bigger shoes. Vaccinated eventually. <laughs> Maybe vaccinated. <laughs> if Sonic gets to us. Possibly. Possibly yeah. vaccinated. Yeah. It's so good because like I can definitely see like the, the, it's a giant open world city, right? Like and Sonic is like running from the vaccines from place to place, and they're getting orders. Like this person is like emergency here, this person's here, but yeah. he's also like delivering outbreak other medical supplies. City. Yeah, outbreak here, etc. <laughs> this is very good. Okay. Um. All right. Thanks.